Hey man, so I figured I'd make a video to better explain these texts, so I got them all here. So she opens you first, right? She starts the conversation on Tinder. That's very good. Obviously a huge sign of interest because most guys don't even get responses, let alone get messaged first. So that's great. She's really into you. But I think that you got a bit too excited about that and you immediately ask her out with any plans for this weekend or should I change that? I mean, it's cute, and you, you phrased it in a somewhat charming way, but I think it's just too much too quick. You probably got too excited about the fact that she's starting a conversation with you. You need to be able to handle – I know you're a passionate guy, and you, and you, you want to get straight to business. You know, I want to go on a date with this girl. I don't want to spend all this time on this you know, dating app, and texting is confusing, and blah, blah, blah. I get it, but a lot of times it's just too much, and you got to be more patient, and you have to go through the process. Right. That's that's like getting on a date and in five minutes you're like, hey, you want to go back to my place? It's like it can sometimes work, <laughs> um, but you got to you got to really have a connection with her and you got to really know how to how to sell it, you know, um, and really know that she's ready to, to move that quickly. So here it really did not work out that well. Um, and then you did recover. Right. She gives you a soft rejection here. I work this weekend. It's a, it's a nice little soft rejection. Oh, good luck. Uh, what is it that you do? Uh, good luck. Uh, good luck with the weekend. That's or the with work. Yeah, it's. I understand what you're saying, but it's a, kind of an awkward phrase for I work this weekend. So I would actually just cut this and and just say, what do you do? Um, you might want to be a little bit less formal with your language too. What is it that you do? Uh, just just do. What do you do? Be a little bit more casual with your texting, right? Um, I'm an nurse. Okay, uh, I'm a nurse. <laughs> my my. Okay, I'm being too harsh. How about you? So then you, too much, right? Just too much. Just just look at just don't eat, just block out the words and just look at the bubbles. Like it's just too much real estate here. You know, you got it. You got to chill. It just it just shows so much energy. You know. You 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 could have cut it. It would have been okay if you cut this out. Like, dude, like. I'm, I'm saying like too much, you know, I'm making fun of her saying it and nurse and I'm just spamming like like a valley girl. Um, OK. Here you asked her out, right? That's on the 19th, 20th, right? Within little over 24 hours, you ask her out again, right? You're just pushing too hard, man. I, I know you're a passionate guy, but you got to relax here. You got to just chill on this. Um, it's 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 you're too eager. You got to take the process. She has to like get to know you first. I mean, she's obviously interested, right? This is this is huge interest. You got to just take it slow. Go through the process. You know, give give responses that are equal to hers. Um, you know, you can make little jokes, but sometimes having boring conversation is actually a sign of good social instincts because you're not trying too hard to be interesting. A lot of times, guys who try to be interesting become uninteresting, and the guys who Sometimes boring conversation is actually interesting because the person isn't is is being interesting by the simple fact that he's not trying to be interesting. There's obviously more to it, and there's a lot of nuance, but that's a good starting place. Try to start having boring conversations. Then, after you've exchanged about fifteen to twenty texts, then ask her out. But this, okay, you could have started with this. That's fine, and then you kind of recovered, right? You just shoot yourself in the foot here, um, and then you had to double text two days later. Um, it's just it's just too much. You're a passionate guy, and I like it, and I respect it, and in some ways it's really good for dating. But here it's just gonna hurt you. Um, and she's she's trying her best to just be super upfront. Like I'd love to chat with you and get to know you a little bit better first. So you gotta chill. Um, try to have more boring conversations and just keep it simple. Um, and and try to match her. So be a little bit more boring and match her response like lengths. Like just look at the real estate here. All blue, very little white. You want blue and white to be even. So that's a good starting place for you.